Hey friends, this is Jagdish Shahuja, your teacher trainer, Wealth Transformer, and today we are going to be talking about one of the greatest investors in the whole world. And who am I talking about? The one and only legendary Warren Buffett, who started, you know, investing at the tender age of 11 and, you know, has turned a $114 investments and that was all his savings which he had into almost 68 billion I repeat 68 billion dollars yes some of those portfolios have you know gone crazy and some of them has uh, done extraordinarily well but yes 2020 has been bad for Warren Buffett as well as Berkshire Hathaway the company which holds all these holdings you know has lost almost 50 billion dollars in you know mark to market or in paper losses so in 2020 this is the sort of pandemic losses which uh, the company has seen and what is it today that uh, Berkshire Hathaway is holding let's understand that the first and the biggest and the baddest what Berkshire Hathaway or Warren Buffett is holding is almost 77 billion dollars of Apple computers which is like 5.6 percent of Apple and why Apple because Apple is one company you know which has been doing pretty well of late and Buffett really likes companies where uh, he understands the business and one more thing the way Apple is paying back all its debts you know it will become debt free really really soon almost uh, 56 billion dollars is what you know they made last year and so and their debt is hardly 83 billion dollars so these guys are going to you know definitely turn the corner and become a debt free company the second company which he likes is bank of america and he's got 31 billion dollars or a 10 and a half percent stake in bank of america mind you banks weren't doing well but this one bank the bank of america you know in spite of providing for the pandemic was able to do you know a fantastic job and uh, was able to show some profits so he has kept his stake in this beautiful bank called the bank of america 10 and a half percent stake in that the third and the tastiest of all his holdings is coca-cola which he's been holding way back from the 1980s and in fact picked up more in 1987 the crash the flash crash of 1987 where he got these shares at a bargain and to be very honest uh, Warren Buffett himself is a fan of coke and has at least I think I think four to five cans of coke a day and has predicted that this stock is going to be in his portfolio forever so he's got 9.3 percent of you know stake in this company worth 23.3 billion dollars the fourth top business which he owns is a credit card business called American Express and that's worth 19.7 billion dollars and the stake is 18 and a half percent of that company belongs to Warren Buffett yes and credit cards yeah the more you're going to use them in the pandemic for sure and the more you know uh, these guys are going to collect charges from you so American Express is the next one the last the fifth top stock of his has been Wells Fargo you know which has been into banking and financial services 8.9 percent is the stake which he's having uh, worth 17 billion dollars but yes in the last couple of weeks he has got a little bored of it I guess and has started selling a bit of it and converting it into guess what gold G O L D yes you're right he has been converting it into gold and has bought gold in the last couple of weeks so you can just imagine Warren Buffett has now for the first time you know he sold his stake in airlines companies when this pandemic was at you know its peak he had his entire stake of American Airlines now is out Delta, Delta Airlines is out Southwest Airlines is out United Airlines is out so all these companies are out and now he has been replacing it with you know gold with Amazon and other 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 stocks so you know with Kraft Heinz JP Morgan Chase and Moody's in fact he even sold Goldman Sachs a bit so this is what Warren Buffett is doing but yes 
there is a big secret of Warren Buffett and that is he is still holding 135 or 137 billion dollars in cash and what do I mean it's hard cash which is locked up in US Treasury bills and that is his cash cow which is you know keeping him going and what does it say it says that he is not yet putting all his eggs inside this basket and this particular rally of the market he is being cautious and I guess expects a, a downfall again otherwise why would he be sitting on cash so with that let's learn from the Guru the Sage of Omaha the Oracle of Omaha Warren Buffett the third fourth fifth the richest man on this planet and learn to keep cash as well as well as hold on to our holdings you know for the long haul this is Jagdish Ahuja your teacher trainer well transformer signing off once again on the top five holdings of the greatest investor in the world Warren Buffett and over and out take care bye bye